Got the chainsaw off Amazon, uh, about 200 bucks, 180, something like that, I can't remember. But it, uh, it's a 62cc Pro Yama. Uh, I like Pro Yama, I have a few of their tools and so far I've had any issues with them. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, let's get it open. Okay, instructions, parts list, that's nice. So they give you a whole uh, parts list in here. Okay, so, carrying case, helmet, which doesn't look that bad. It's metal, metal screen, plastic, so it bends. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty uh, surprised about this. Usually the extra stuff they give you is kind of cheap. Fuel tank for mixing. Got some. All right, there's like a little tool kit. What we're gonna need to uh, get this thing up and running. Bar protector. Looks like it's meant for uh, three different sizes: 18, 20. I wonder if we can take this next. Up to 22 inches. Got a chain, chain, two chains. Comes with two bars, so you got your 22 inch bar and your 18 inch bar. Got some gloves. Chainsaw. Packed pretty well. Alright, we're gonna put the we're gonna do the 22 inch blade. I want a bigger blade. 18 inch is fine, but like I said, I like the bigger ones. Set that aside. Nice heavy bar too. There's no there is a grease um, spot. I'm gonna show you guys how to grease this real quick. This is a little grease gun for bars. All you do is just put it down here and Push down. It pumps. It pumps in grease into that hole, and you see it coming out right here. So it's it's coming out there. Grease goes in there. I'll show you guys again real quick. So you can see it. So you just take it and you push down there and you can see it coming out if you don't have one of these don't fret just get some grease and you can put it in here and just work it in like that and you want to you want to do this um you know depending on how often you use it but every couple of i don't know maybe every five uh, tank fulls I'll put a link in the description where I got this. I got it on Amazon, so it's nifty to have. I've had it for a couple of years, and I've only used it a little bit. All right, so this, they don't say which size is which, but this one's 72 um, lengths, and this one's 40, 64. So obviously, we're going to be using the, seven, the one that's more. Let's take a look at this guy, too. Yeah, we'll test this out when we're done here. It's kind of nice, this canvas. Set that aside. We're definitely gonna need, I'm sorry, to give you a file to sharpen your blade. It's nice to have. Guard for your uh, chainsaw. 
some stickers. Paper gasket into the guide. Hmm. Paper gasket. I've never seen that before. I'll have to put that up here in a minute. But they're saying to put that right here. I don't know why you want paper there, but okay. This only goes on one way. So what we'll do is just uh, just two screws, and it comes with a tool to put it on. It's just an out, some kind of Allen key. Probably a metric, more than likely. Get a cover. This is where you're going to want to get your two, two bolts or nuts. And you're going to take this and tighten it up or loosen it up until it falls in that guide hole. back there. Alright. So at this point you're going to want to make sure that these are lined up. It's best to do this when it's sitting normal position like this. Straight up and down. And just tighten it up. Everyone has their own preference on how tight they want to chain. So kind of feel it out. See if see what suits you best. Some people like loose chains, some people like tight chains. I like them in the middle. It's gonna stretch out too after you, your first use or so, so you're gonna wanna definitely keep a, an eye on that. We'll just tighten up these nuts, add some oil, and then add some, uh, some bar oil, and then add some. Some gas. 40 to 1. There we go, assembled. All right, so looks like your bar oil goes here and your gas goes here. So let's get everything we need and do it.
Also, a little tip, you're gonna need to change this out or fill this up every time you, you do a, uh, uh, a gas change. Every time you put more gas in there, you're gonna wanna just check the bar oil and make sure it's there. You don't want your stuff to seize up here. All right, she's ready to go. All right, you're gonna wanna depress this little nipple until you get some gas in there. You can see it coming. Here's your on off switch. A little bit not traditional, but works. Up is the on position. And then here's your choke controller. So. Uh, this is normal, and then this is choked. So we're gonna pull it out to start it. So, uh, you don't wanna put your chain brake on. You don't want this thing to start spinning right away. And then, uh, kinda. We're gonna do a couple of test cuts here. Uh, I'm gonna compare this with my other chainsaw as well. I'm gonna do like two or three cuts on it just to see how it how it, how it holds up, and then uh, we'll compare that with uh, with a Husqvarna 450. I'd say they're probably pretty close. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say the Husqvarna is a little bit faster, but you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with this chainsaw. Uh, you know, it's nice to have a bunch of chainsaws around. Just they break all the time, especially when you're when you need them. So I have three, six. I don't know something. I have a lot of chainsaws, so it's nice to have, and it's just good to have a couple extras around and keep one in your side by side, keep one in your truck, keep one in your shop. Anyways, hey, if you guys like these kind of videos, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more around our farm, and then um, leave a comment if you, if, you, if you got this thing. I'd like to hear about it. All right, thanks.